Yo, what up? It's your boy Paul from Grumpy Head TV. First off, I want to thank everyone that subscribed to my channel. And you guys knew, know about the new YouTube policies and so forth. So today we're going to go see Damien John. Um, Damien John's not a friend of mine. He's actually doing a book signing over at the Union Square Look. He's actually doing a book signing over the Barnes & Noble on 17th and Park. So one of my friends is going to join up with me there. Um, Vincent from Vinciful, he's a blogger. He blogs about parenting. So I'll leave the information below if, if you're interested in that. Or if you're a parent, he gives very useful information. And let's head off to Barnes & Nobles. So this is Vincent from Vinciful. Make sure you follow him. I'll post the information below later. Yeah, so um, as we were saying, yeah, me and and the rest of the family, we watch a lot of Shark Tank. And um, his, his story in particular is inspiring, right? So, and when I found out about the event, that's when I, um, I was like, you know what, we gotta do this. Yes. Yeah, so in his previous events, we were standing room only and I wanted to be comfortable. Also want to give thanks to parking guards. I got, out, I got out from Queens in 40 minutes, made the turn up 17th Street and I found parking. Oh. Free parking. Nice. <laughs> CEO of FUBU, a clothing company which has amassed over $6 billion in worldwide retail sales. He is a consultant and public speaker who shares his expertise with everyone from students and aspiring entrepreneurs to small business owners and CEOs of major corporations. He is the author of three books, the most recent of which debuted at number two on the New York Times bestseller list in January of 2016. The widely successful release, The Power of Growth, stands as the only New York Times best-selling book written by any of the sharks. He is the recipient of more than 35 awards, including Grand Week Marketer of the Year, the Congressional Achievement Award for Entrepreneurship, the Ernst & Young's New York Entrepreneur of the Year Award, and the NAACP Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Yes, yes. Beyond the brands, the television series, and the books, his commitment to entrepreneurship has been celebrated on a global level. In 2015, he was named a Presidential Ambassador for Global Entrepreneurship and was part of an exclusive group who joined President Obama at the Global Entrepreneur Summit in Kenya. As CEO of the brand consultancy, The Sharp Group, he has written, rewritten the script on how companies, brands, and products can seamlessly work together to yield a sum greater than its parts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the People Sharp. people to sell you this insecurity of you need money, you need to have a last famous last name, 
you need to take this pill because none of that works. They're just trying to find ways to make you feel insecure and then sell you something that you really don't need when you have everything you need, and that's what Power Broke is. Um, after writing the Power Broke, a lot of people really want to know, if I have this mentality, and you say work hard, what does working hard mean? And I want to work smart at the same time. And myself, I was seeking the same information because uh, you may think that I have a level of success, but success never stops because you may have money or faith or anything else, and you want more. I wanted more time with my family, I wanted more time for my health and various other things. So I wanted to get this recipe from so many different people and how they accomplish it. If I can only get one tip that would change my life and make me more effective, that's all I needed. Right? Because there's only one thing that sparks a flame inside of you. And out of this, I found so many tips from people on how they're effective. It doesn't mean that every tip is going to work for you. It means that in the book, you're going to do a couple of things. You're either going to say, track and everybody told me I wasn't on the right track and I shouldn't do it but I'm doing the right thing. Or I see five other things that I would like to do. Let me cross them out. Boom. Number one doesn't work for me. Boom. Number two I need to alter a little bit. Number three works for me. And if you're going to see this from these successful people in the book and you know many of you have read the book already because I mean you just got it. Um, and uh, you know it's going to be people who are either very strong about their faith or they have money. They have fame. Or again I love bragging about this guy who makes me feel like a loser. My buddy Kyle can climb Mount Kilimanjaro and he has no arms and no legs. And he didn't use any prosthetics. He makes me feel like a little bit. Gary Vanager. You know, I love to talk about him because, you know, me being, you know, a kid from the city, from Hollis, Queens, you know, I can't use him. I'm on Disney. So Gary says every word that I will ever need to say. Right. And uh, Grant Cardone and so many amazing people that I found that all. It's called Bonju, and we don't know how it's gonna taste, but we are asked what's good, and they recommended something awesome. So you know, we're pretty sure that it's good. Right, so this Olympus kind of sucks in the dark because I can't even see you or me. But, but whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the food but, comes out, we're gonna continue. So for all those people who think I don't have a job, I do. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, and Vinny and I are going over social media campaigns.
Bye.